Hi everyone. I hope your preparation is going on in full swing. Today I want to talk about sources for phase 1 of RBI examination. Now these books, these sources can also be used for various other similar examinations like NABAD or uh, SEBI or, or the upcoming IFCA, IF, uh, IFSCA or even for UPSC examination. But I will be specifically dealing with the kind of questions that are asked in RBI and how these self-study sources and these books can help you prepare for that level of the examination one by one. I will be starting with very basic books and then I will take you on towards more advanced level of books. If you are already very clear with the basics of phase 1 of RB examination, then you can skip some of these basic books and you can proceed to the advanced level books as well. I want to start with the uh, Quantitative Aptitude and this is one of the very basic books uh, published by Kiran Publication. Now, the advantage that this book has that I found very useful was number one, the number of questions that you can get here. There are just too many number of questions. So, if you are a person who needs a lot of practice, who wants to practice a lot to gain that kind of confidence, then this book will work for you because it has, although it has medium level and basic level questions, but the number of questions is a lot, which is going to help you a lot. And the second advantage that this book has is that uh, there are questions on data sufficiency and data interpretation, total of 3800 questions on data interpretation and 450 questions on data sufficiency. Now these again, too much, too many number of questions, which will help you prepare better and help you practice a lot if that is what you need. Remember, this is a basic level book. Therefore, you will see that advanced level questions are not available in this book. Not too many advanced level questions you will find in this book as well. But the sheer number of questions and the fact that it covers everything, all the topics that you need to prepare for RBA examination will be available in this book. So that will also give you a lot of clarity because you might not find data interpretation, data sufficiency questions in some of CAD books, but you will find everything pertaining to RBA examination in this book. Okay. So this is something that you can start with if you're a beginner and if you want to start your preparation of quant, if you feel that I'm not very well prepared or I want to prepare even better or I want to go back to the basics, then this book will help you. There is another book again by Kiran Publication for reasoning. It's even thicker. Remember, you don't have to cover the entire book. You have to focus on areas that you need to, to practice. In some chapters, you might be able to, you might want to practice 100 questions. In another chapter, you might want to practice 200 questions. In another chapter, you might want to practice only 10 questions. Depends completely upon your comfort level. Okay. Let me open this book. <clears throat> now again, this is on reasoning and the first advantage that you will see in this book is it has all the chapters which are required to be prepared for RBA examination. That is one major advantage. In CAD books that I'll be picking up very shortly, you will find that problem. They do not have everything that you need to prepare for RBA examination, but this book does. Again, there are a lot of questions on data sufficiency, uh, 940 questions on data sufficient, uh, no, 396 questions on data sufficiency from page 940, 396, almost 400 questions, which is a very good number, 170 questions on data analysis, 200 questions on cause and effect. These kind of questions you will not find in a lot of books available in the market out there. And therefore, that is where this book helps a lot. Okay. Therefore, if you want to practice basic level questions and want to cover everything that can be asked in the examination, then these books can help you. Remember, you do not have to uh, cover these books page by page. You do not have to write, practice every question that is given in these books. Merely practicing based upon your comfort level does the job. Once you're done with these basic books, now you want to move towards more advanced level books. And that is where cat level books come handy as well as Arihant books. I want to start with uh, this book on the reasoning by Nishit Sinha. This is published by Pearson. This is for cat. And uh, the major advantage of this was uh, number one, advanced level questions. And number two, a lot of questions uh, based upon data sufficiency, based upon sentences being created and given to you and you have to answer based upon long lengthy questions. So those kind of questions you will find a lot in this book 
and that is where it helps majorly okay it covers uh, not only logical reasoning but also uh, a lot of critical reasoning and data interpretation remember that in cat data interpretation is normally covered in reasoning and not in quant so if you want to cover data interpretation practice a lot of it you will have to go towards reasoning books for cat okay beautiful book when it comes to advanced level questions every chapter is divided into three levels there is beginner there is medium and then there is advanced normally i would recommend that you cover beginner and medium level do not cover advanced level because the orientation of the questions that are asked in advanced level questions in this book pertain to cat which is a lot different from the way questions are asked in rbi examination or for that matter nabard or sebi examination or even upsc examination therefore make sure that when you are reading this book you are not covering advanced level questions and if you are and if you get stuck in advanced level questions you can skip those questions you do not have to cover everything under the sun number 1 and you do not need a phd in content reasoning to be able to clear these exams okay another book for reasoning is by arihant this is also a very decent book medium level of questions will be available in this book and again a beautiful thing about this is this covers a lot of chapters a lot of topics which are even uh, which are which are normally skipped by bank pu level books because the orientation with which the questions are asked here pertain to cat and the medium level questions here fit very well with rbi orientation so sentence based questions where you are given two sentences you have to figure out which one is right which one is wrong uh, so that is data sufficiency kind of questioning that is beautifully available here okay you might not find it in kiran books but you will find it in every chapter when it comes to the reasoning by arihan okay the last book that i have is the most popular and uh, that is one reason that i'm mentioning it and at the same time it's a beautiful book it's by arun sharma quantitative aptitude for cat again this book divides every chapter into three portions uh, there is beginner level medium level and advanced level try not to get too much attached to with advanced level questions because those kind of questions and that level of questioning is not done in rbi examination those level of questions are normally asked in cat only the orientation is very different okay advanced level if you skip that uh, medium level and beginner level if you cover that of every chapter from this book that will also be enough to give you confidence that you need to go ahead and write a lot of mocks given you a list of all these books and having mentioned the advantages disadvantages of all these books i want to talk about temperament now very very briefly no matter how much you practice no matter what kind of questions what kind of books you pick up how many hours you devote to these books to these subjects if the temperament of yours is not correct for the examination even despite having the required knowledge you might not be able to clear phase 1 it's very important to develop that kind of temperament now you might ask what do i mean when i say that kind of temperament see in maths or quant in phase 1 you're given 30 questions but the beautiful thing about rbi exam is you do not have to answer all 30 questions you have to answer you have to try 15 16 questions similarly in reasoning you're given 60 questions but you do not have to answer all the 60 questions even answering 30 questions will do the job for that you need to understand how to pick up the right question and how not to pick up the wrong kind of question so if you're picking up the right question where the probability of solving that question is highest it is not a trap set out for you to waste your time then you will ultimately be able to uh, answer those 15 questions in quant and 30 questions in reasoning if you want to understand how to write mocks how to approach mocks for quant reasoning in english you can also refer to one of my midi videos it's available in the description i've given the link that video explains how you can develop your temperament by practicing mocks okay so practicing mocks is also an art is a skill that you have to develop and you can do that only, only when you know what kind of requirements are there to develop that skill of writing the right kind of mocks okay so the video on that is also available in the description coming back a little bit again when i say exam temperament then it's not like bank pu where you have to answer all the questions you are required to answer only 50 55% of the questions especially in quant and reasoning 
and for that you have to choose the right question for yourself if you start answering every question that comes in front of you you will get stuck in some trap and that will be the end of your journey of rbi examination therefore develop the right kind of temperament through these practice books blindly picking up questions practicing them not analyzing or understanding what kind of question is given to you what kind of question is asked in the examination what kind of question do you find easier to cover easier to answer if you do not have that analysis in place then you will not be able to develop exam temperament and if you are not able to develop the temperament despite having all the knowledge in the world you might not be able to score well okay i would like to give you an example and then we'll finish off uh, i i met nidhi adav who secured uh, rank 5 in this year's rbi examination and she said that the reason she was not able to clear in 2021 was not because she did not have the required knowledge but because she did not have the right temperament she got stuck in puzzles in reasoning section and after the examination she realized that she did not have to start with puzzles just because puzzles were given at the beginning of reasoning section she would have started with anything and then she started developing on her temperament she realized that syllogism is an easy area where she can answer questions quickly she can also gain more confidence because she is able to answer questions secondly uh, directions or blood relations these are easy questions where you can score well you can score better in a small amount of time and that is how she started working on developing her temperament rather than keep revising and keep developing your knowledge and she saw the result rank 5 in the next year's exam so if you want to watch that video as well it's also available in the description i've put the link you can watch that as well what i want to say is no matter how many books you cover no matter how much self study you do it's important to understand the need of the examination and be smart in your preparation so that you can ace the examination you can kick off the competition if you have any doubts if you want to say something if you want me to discuss anything related to examinations in specific then you can mention it in the comment section below and i will be more than happy to talk about those things in my next video i'll see you very very soon guys till then take care bye bye jai